want to support me, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and purchase you a signed copy of my book. That's Nene Marie 3. Yo! It's your boy Trisha News, and I'm back at y'all with another one. Appreciate all love and support. Thanks for everyone who subscribed to the channel. If you ain't subbed to the channel, make sure you do. Make sure you join the membership. Shout out to the real Mod Squad, man. If you ain't following my mods, make sure you follow their ads at the end of the video. Remember, if you got anything extra, food, hygiene, clothes, bag it up, take it outside, and give it to the less fortunate. Remember, we all one step away from being homeless. I don't care how much money you say you got. Hey, happy Friday, man. It's the most critical part of the weekend, man. Y'all might want to stay safe, man. No y'all kids at 13 14 15 16 17 18 you're not grown man you're still a kid you still you still a kid living in your mama house unless you got keys to your own shit know where your kids at um we got a situation about me saying know where your kids at or and, and the parents being parents today then we got boss top rondo um rondo actually you know what i'm talking about got a call from jail and dan dan danville rondo went from menard to danville we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about bloodhound Lil jeff man and the way he moving um so let's get into it man happy friday to everybody hope everybody ate hope everybody stay blessed and safe man and the concern should be on the internet as the kids, man. You ain't talking about the kids, bro. You're just chasing it. You ain't talking about saving nobody, helping nobody at this point. It really don't matter what a person did. As long as you're trying to save somebody, man. As long as you save somebody. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, with that being said, smash that like button. Boss Top and Rondo, man. Boss Top, I don't know if y'all remember, but Boss Top and Bay Zoo, they spoke highly on um, Rondo um, when it came out. That that see they said that Rondo had snitched on him and threw him under the bus inside the courtroom. Boss Top was one of the ones that we ain't fucking with no rats. He a rat, you know what I'm saying? And um, Bezu was well. Rondo and Boss Top they was on the yard at Danville, man, and they say that Rondo had confronted Boss Top. He confronted Boss Top about you know what I'm talking about. He he saying that he telling. And all that shit, and they say motherfucker boss top recanted it like, nah, bro, we we ain't know what was going on, bro. They were saying it, and they put out some fake paperwork and all. Man, that paperwork real. Rondo lawyer threw him under the bus. Rondo did it, bro. It's nothing that you can do or say without your lawyer asking you first. Do you want to do this? Any lawyer, a public defender, a uh, 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 paid, especially a paid lawyer, a paid lawyer definitely gonna ask you three times. You sure you want to do this? You know what I'm talking about? But Rondo did it because he knew that his lawyer was going to be in there. He didn't think that it was going to come out. Or if it did come out, shit, my lawyer said that, you know. But see, they he left evidence at the scene, bro. So it, it, ain't no, it ain't no question with him, bro. He should just take the hit. You know what I'm saying? They say y'all know what y'all was into when y'all did it. Y'all killed the cab driver, first of all. And then... You know, but Boss Top folded, man. Long story short, Boss Top folded on the yard, man. No, they ain't that. They shook up BD, man, and now they cool again. You know what I'm talking about? But, yeah, he did confront Boss Top about the allegations of about C-Day. Then you got Lil Jeff. You got Lil Jeff and you got Kenny Mac. Kenny Mac responded, man. Kenny Mac responded through one of his people on Facebook, man. He said, hey, cut the internet cap. I take two L's before I tell anything. Um, it was on the internet going around on Reddit that he was supposed to be cooperating, man. Kenny Mac got three murders he fighting, bro. He got three murders. He fighting, goddamn it, um, a murder in a murder in Riverdale, a murder in that, and then they they putting another murder on him, bro. Like Kenny Mac really like that, bro. He gonna go down. He before anybody tell, I think that he won't. You know, he just arrogant like that, bro. He just on his name. He rather stand on it. So Lil Jeff, Lil Jeff, man, look like Lil Jeff, man, was in the stove, man. And the people that he robbed caught up to him, man. Now, this one thing I'm going to say. Lil' Jeff running around, man, taking shit, bro. Hey, look, remember all the people's faces? You got to remember that shit being high, Lil' Jeff. You can't be high and not remember them faces, man, because they going to pop up on you when you're nodding off, man. You know, you try not to rob everybody at one, at one time, man. You robbing everybody in the spree. Like, you going on the spree. They going to be looking for your ass, Lil' Jeff. Lil' Jeff said that he jumped off the porch. In 2021, man. Hey, y'all get in the comments let me know what y'all think. But I'm going to say, man, hey, Lil' Jeff, jump your ass back on that porch, bro. You didn't fucking miss the whole drill scene. And now you trying to get wild, bro. It, it, don't, it don't look too good. But, 
You know what I'm saying? I can just give you the best advice that I can. You know what I'm talking about? For me, used to take shit from the dr drug dealers and everything, man. Hey, look, just make sure it's worth it, man, because, you know, you'll, you'll end up um, looking over your shoulder, and then when you're ready to stop robbing and say it's cool, that's when they the, the people you was robbing was goofy. They turned up now. They killers now, and now they coming for you. You know, that's my best advice, bro. I did it. I robbed the drug dealers in the street, too. So, but I wasn't nodding off. I wasn't doing powder and pills and perks and snorting that shit. You snorting pork 30s and them fentanyls. You know what I'm talking about? So, just be careful, little brother, man. Just be careful, bro. And, and everybody ain't your friend, bro. Just know that. Because you sliming people out and you never know who cousins is who cousins, bro. And then, last but not least, man. Um, mother and son terrorized Chicago, man. A mother and son is responsible, they said, for over 17 robberies, man. Within a within a short time span, a mother took her son, took her 16-year-old son, and they was running around like Grand Theft Auto, bro. Can't believe this shit, bro. Like, for real, you use your son at, 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 to go out there and do shit. She one of them parents like, shit, if you're going to be in the streets, I might as well go ahead and... um. Go ahead and, and, and get them. You know what I'm talking about? That's sad. That shit's sad, though, man. But make sure y'all stay safe, man. And um, make sure y'all keep your head on alert. Look out the window, man, before you go outside. I'm telling you, man, make sure them bushes ain't moving, especially if it ain't windy. If it's 80 degrees and you see your bush moving, just stay in the house, man. Um, make sure the kids safe, man. The kids are dying at alarm and rape, bro. Kid just got shot in the house. Another kid got shot in the back. Um, a nine-year-old got killed. Like, it's just weird, bro. It's just weird out here. And then don't nobody want to say nothing or speak up until it's show kids. But when the show kids, then that's when you on the internet crying and all that, man. Just speak up, bro. Tell, hey, you got people. Everybody got somebody who look up to them out there in the world. Hey, look, it's it, it's your job just to tell them. You ain't got to, you ain't got to do nothing else. You ain't got to whoop their ass. You ain't got to do none of that. Hey, look, just explain to them. Hey, look, you in the killing. You're going to get killed or you're going to jail for murder. You picking up guns and playing with guns, that's how you're going to die. You know what I'm talking about? You're out here robbing people. You know what I'm talking about? That somebody going to rob you. Or you might die trying to rob somebody, man. You know? That's the only advice I can give you. That's to Lil' J and that's to everybody. Um, Lil' Jeff, I mean. Bloodhound Lil' Jeff. It's a video going around where it looked like he's scrambling and he like, I ain't trying to box. He said he ain't boxing. So we already know that blood, bloodhound only weighed motherfucking 80 pounds, bro. He he fucking like 5'11", 5 5'11", some shit like that, six foot, and he weighed 80 pounds, bro. So, yeah, he ain't doing no boxing. You run up on him, bro, you, you better have on your vest or something, a helmet or something. But y'all want to support me, man, go to Nene Marie 37 on Instagram and get a signed copy of my book. That's N-E-N-E-M-A-R-I-E 37 on Instagram to support me, man. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to Made Media Magazine. We got an interview coming soon, man.